Hello there. Within just a few weeks of its formation, the Brexit party under the leadership of the former UKIP leader Nigel Farage rewrote the political record books by taking on the establishment and winning a stunning victory. The Brexit party has, for the moment, a single policy that of leaving the EU on WTO terms at 11pm on the 31st of October this year. And within weeks of it being formed, the Brexit party has stormed to victory in the EU elections on the back of that one single policy. And inevitably, within seconds of the first announcement by a returning officer, the arguments about whether the results point to a Remain win or a Leave win have started. But the performance of the Brexit party shines through all of that guff. It got 29 of the 73 available seats, with 31.6% of the vote share so far. Its nearest rival, the Lib Dems, the self-styled party of Remain, got 16 seats, with 20.3% of the vote, with only the results from Northern Ireland yet to be announced. Of course, there will be all sorts of claims about how all the others added together makes a Remain result or a Leave result, but with a turnout of about 37%, it is a ridiculous assertion. Actually, with a turnout like that, it just means people don't care about the EU. But one thing does stand out. Both the Brexit Party and UKIP want a quick and complete withdrawal of the UK from the EU. But what do the so-called Remain parties want? we actually have no real idea. Do they all just want to revoke Article 50 or to have a second referendum first? And they tell us they want to stop Brexit, but they never tell us what sort of remain they want. And the reason I point this out is that the EU today is not the same as the one we voted to leave in 2016. There have been many changes and proposals that have gone on while the UK public and politicians thought we were about to leave and so did not get overly involved with all of it. So the questions I have are, do all Remainers want a second EU referendum or just to revoke Article 50 immediately? Do all Remainers want to go back to the 2016 position? Or do they all want to take the EU as it is now but then not change anything in the future? Do they all want the UK in the Euro? Do they all want the UK inside Schengen? Do they want the UK inside the EU in order to reform it? And if so, do they all want to reform it into a socialist EU? Or do they all want to reform it into a capitalist EU? Or do they all just want someone else to run their lives? Well, from what I've seen, the latter does seem to factor quite highly. And that, I surmise, is why the Remain vote is so split around several different parties, because their views on why they want to remain are wide-ranging, and in most cases probably unrealistic given the way the EU works, or just mutually exclusive. And this was amply demonstrated when Remain MPs recently managed to take charge of the House of Commons order paper with the help of Speaker Burko, and then promptly spent days on agreeing to disagree whereas the Brexit side is now fast coalescing around the total and unequivocal withdrawal of the UK from the EU. It's the Remainers who actually don't know what they want. Now what I would like to see the Brexit party do is conduct an audit of all the legal changes that have happened in the last nearly three years and spell out to the country how this affects us but also showing how maybe a UK government could have done a better job for its people than being forced into a one-size-fits-all EU-wide policy. I would also like them to work very closely with Veterans for Britain to really get the message out about how the UK Defence and Security Forces are being handed over wholesale to Brussels. It would also be useful if Nigel Farage used his new team of MEPs and their researchers to keep a live list of upcoming EU legislation and demonstrate how those regulations and directives are fed into the Westminster pipeline and then turned into UK policies and ultimately laws, while pro-EU UK politicians try to hide that and pretend they did not originate in Brussels. Then people might understand a little more about how this opaque system works, 
and this is something that Eurosceptics have been bad at demonstrating in the past. I did try to do this on my own, but the sheer amount of stuff emanating from Brussels is mind-boggling. Anyway, when a Remainer says the UK needs to stay inside the EU, ask them, what sort of Remain do you want to see? Then follow up with the type of questions I've outlined above. And if they say it doesn't matter because Remain is remaining, then just say, Brexit means exit. Anyway, what do you think? Please share and comment and thank you for watching. Please do like and share this video and also subscribe to my channel. And when subscribing, please do remember to press on the little bell next to the subscribe button. That way you'll get an alert every single time I put up a new video. Thank you very much for watching.